What was the soccer ball created from? Over on the left side of the, your screen, you should see a nisosahedron. Nisosahedron is the platonic solid, so it is a polyhedron. The triangular faces are 20. There are 20 triangles along here. The vertices are 12. So this is my vertice, this is my vertice. So the points where all the edges come together are the vertices, and there are 12 of them. There are 30 edges. So the edges, there's three around each triangle, and then that there's 20 triangles and a total of 30 edges. Euler's formula says that the number of faces, which is 20, plus the number of vertices, which is 12, which is 32, minus the number of edges will equal 2. So 32 minus 30 is equal to 2. Truncate means to cut. A truncated isosahedron means to cut the isosahedron. No, each edge is trisected, cut into three equal parts. So what I do is at the vertex of each point, um, each vertice on the isohedron, Truncate means to cut. A truncated isosahedron means to cut the isosahedron. Mathematicians call the soccer ball a truncated isosahedron. So they cut the isosahedron and it will form the soccer ball. Each edge is trisected, means it's cut into three equal parts. Okay, so I'm going to show you that on here. So at the vertex, at each vertex, what I do is I go a third of the way down on this edge, and I go across. That makes it a third of the way down on this edge, and then I go across a third of the way down on this edge, across a third of the way down, and across and a third of the way down. And I cut this off so that it's flat, so it doesn't stick up. You can see that this is a pentagon shape. So cutting off each vertex forms the pentagons. And the hexagons occur naturally surrounding each pentagon. So I'm making this isosahedron into the soccer ball. So I can't actually remove this. I don't know how to videotape that, but I would cut this section off. So I want to cut another section off and I'm gonna choose this one here. So a third, this has to be a third of this and I go across to a third of this edge, and then one third of this edge, and then one third of this edge, and one third of this edge, and one third of this edge. And I cut this piece off. So this is going to be a flat pentagon which if I could color it in better, you might see it as more flat instead of um, sticking out because it doesn't have those edges anymore. Okay, and then I want to change, uh, no, I'm not gonna change colors. I'm gonna go to this one and I'm gonna cut one third along this edge over to this edge, one third of this edge and then one third here, and one third in back, and one third on the other side, and one third here, and I would cut this piece off. 
Okay, so the pieces that I'm cutting off at the vert vertices is the forms the pentagons, the black pentagons, the five-sided shapes. What forms naturally is the hexagon. And I'm going to switch color here to uh, purple. So my hexagon, this length, because I went a third of the way down to cut here and a third of the way down to cut here, I'm left with the same length here. Okay, so these this side equals this side. And if I go over this way, this is a third down and a third down, so it equals this side. And up here, I know it doesn't look like it, but <laughs> it does. So this would also be equal to the same length because the edges on the isosahedron are all equal to each other. And then I'm going a third down, so this, these three sides are equal to each other. Well, I went a third down in both, and this is a regular pentagon, so this side is also equal to it, which is equal to this side, which is equal to this side. And this is my hexagon shape that gets formed. So that's the white. So if I cut at each vertice, and then my hexagons are formed around it, no pentagons touch each other. Only the hexagons touch each other. Okay, so that is how a soccer ball was formed. I think that's cool. So mathematicians call a soccer ball a truncated cut isos isosahedron.